Say I'm free. Wake up, get up, and move in your purpose. We thank God for you today. Uh, this today is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made for you to be free and for you to be rejoice in your freedom because freedom comes from being accountable to the spirit of God. Oh yes, wake up in your mind means that you want to abide in him intentionally. Say yes, intentionally. I want to intentionally abide in him and enter into him. So now he will now in turn abide in me. And the Bible says that when he abides in you, it's this word that abides in you. And anything you ask according to that word, you shall have. Mm. That you'll be blessed, that you'll be free, that you'll be set free, and that you'll be the, the head of getting the captives loose and free indeed also. Because it's your responsibility as well as mine, not to just grow, but to go. Say that this morning. Say, you know what? When I wake up in my mind and when I get up in my thinking, I know that, that, that I grow so I can go. Go to do what? Go grow somebody else by sharing the uncompromisable word of God that will definitely change the way you think. Because if you don't change the way you think, You'll never change anything. You can change your clothes. You can change your glasses. You can change whatever. But if you're really trying to make a change, hmm, the change I want to see comes from where? On the inside. If I really want to see re results of change, I must be the, 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 the conductor <laughs> of change. I must be the element of change. I must be the one in the driver's seat about change. We know that, that, that we are a new creation and, and, uh, and that comes from making a move from ourselves into, remember last week, we, in our wake up in our mind and get up in our thinking, we were talking about being intentional on a purpose and knowing that our purpose is to serve him because of the inheritance that we have gotten, but we also must decrease and separate from everybody. Remember, he didn't come for peace. He came to, to, to wage son against father and daughter against mother and daughter-in-law against mother-in-law and, and, and friend against friend. Oh yes, because we must lose our life completely. That's everything we're connected to, to really accept him and his gift of freedom. Oh, yes. And in, in that now in that realm, we understand that it goes to the point where now I have to do something to help someone else. I have to do something else to really understand when when the Bible says to me that if if I am in Christ Jesus, I take the if out of the equation. I am in Christ Jesus. So behold, I am a new creation. Second uh, Corinthians chapter five. Ooh, verse 12. Now, this is understanding that. When you separate yourself from the world and you you now move out of self, you you now are in a movement of reconciliation, not to God, but reconciliation of God. That God can make it right. <laughs> oh, let me encourage you today. This is a, this is a point to let you know God has already made it right for you. God has already has a plan for you. God has a direction for you to take. But are you willing to walk in the footsteps of your instructions? Watch what he says in verse 12. Heavenly Father God, we thank you for this morning, Lord. We thank you for your word. We thank you for the covenant partners that are, that are here now, that are coming later, that will listen uh, to the archives. But we thank you, Lord, that you will reveal your, 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 ele your elevating lo love through your word to us. That we now see not from the logos, but give us the rhema understanding by believing in faith that you are God and you are in control through your word. We receive it so we can achieve it after we believe it. Oh, come on, somebody. In Jesus' name, amen. Verse 12 says, for we do not commend ourselves again to you, but give you an opportunity to boast on our behalf. If you may have an answer for those who boast in appearance and not in heart, for if we are besides ourselves, it is for God. Or if we are of sound mind, it is for you. For the love of Christ compels us because we judge thus that if one died for all, then all died. Watch this. And he died for all that those who live should live no longer for themselves, but for him 
who died for them and rose again. See, see, in the first step of reconciliation of God, I have to receive the word of God and I must separate myself from what the worldly boast is and what the people will expect of me and what people will want of me, but what God has instructed of me. Oh yeah, it says that, 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 that he died for all. So those for all he died must die themselves, not just me. It's not just for the clergy. It's not just it's for all. And you're going to understand this and see this today. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. You're going to see this today that when God says all, he meant all. Oh, yeah. We, we must definitely keep the door open for all. Stop shutting the door down and writing people off because that's not your business. It's not your position. It ain't your title to tell somebody who's going to make it and who's not going to make it. You better worry about yourself. I'm worried about me. But I know that in worried about me, I'm, I'm learning some, some practi practical principles that can help others. So what do I do? I share freely. But let me tell you, this is me working on me. And me by me working on you, I got my sister Monique working on herself and, and, and my sister Denise working on herself and, and my brother Gus working on himself and, 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 and Pastor Dolores working on herself. By agreement that when we work on ourselves and we can come together and work for God. Mm, I'm a laborer. I, I work. For, I, who's my boss? I work for Jesus. He is my CEO. He is my instructor. I work for Jesus. Oh, yeah. And who does Jesus work for? God. And who does God and Jesus work for? The Holy Spirit. So I work for the one. But in the midst of working for that, I know that I must become a laborer and I must go to work. Just don't talk to work. See, it says a lot of these scriptures that we don't be putting on to because we go so fast. We want to keep on running our way instead of saying slow down and look at the word says we need to really hold up on, on other people's business. Because you and I have a lot of work to do. Oh, yes, I'm better than I was yesterday and I'm not what I used to be, but I'm surely not what he wants me to be because I'm not in his presence. <laughs> I'm not up there. He hasn't called me into that. So I know now I have to battle this, 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 this walk of flesh. Yes, I'm in the world, but not of the world, but I still got activated in the world. Oh, come on, somebody. You, you, you better work on you in reconciliation of God. Watch this. Verse 15. And he died for all that those who live should live no longer for themselves. You cannot live for yourself. And yes, you're the beneficiary. You're the benefactor. Excuse me, my English major. My, you're the benefactor of God's blessings. But it ain't for you. It's for him. It's for you to bless others that others can get blessed and bless others to bless others that we are not sitting around looking at one person being blessed, but everybody being blessed. Come on. You want to go to work? I got a job for you. You want to start a business? I have an idea I'll share with you. You want to, you, you need some mentoring in that area by starting your church? I mean, let's get your business started first. That's what Provoke the Purpose is about, provoking you by love and good works. Well, let me tell you, love means I'm going to show you by loving you. Even when you're not there, even when you're not what other people say you should be, even when, when the world has rejected you, I'm there to love you until you make it God's way. Oh, watch this. Therefore, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh. Look at him right here. Verse 16. Therefore, from now on, when? Now. From now on, I make a decision. Everything I do will be no regard of one's flesh. <laughs> Whether what somebody tell me out their mouth, what they tell me out of their, no, not of the flesh. I will not move. Watch this. Therefore, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh. You know, the Bible says you have to know the spirit by the spirit. Let me show you how this really, really opens up. See, I don't know you by what I see because I probably won't like it. Uh oh, did Pastor be real? Yes. And neither will you. Or if you do, you like it for other reasons. 
But when you learn to really relate with God, let me take you somewhere on this one. Oh, Jesus. When you really learn how to relate with God, you learn how to relate with people because you're not trying to see the physicality of people to see if you connect. You know the spirit by the spirit of God that's in you just like it is in me. Oh, my God. Let me tell you, I can meet somebody right off and off. The spirit gets the bubbling. And I'll be like, oh, Lord, what is this purpose here? Oh, I, you sent somebody my way. Is this the, another door to knock on that you will open? Is this another path to follow that you have opened? Is this another job you want me to go to work? Yes, sir, I will. But you know in the spirit, oh, that he sent them their way. So no longer am I, am I going to judge according to the flesh. Make these decisions. If you're not writing this down, you should listen to the replay later and write it down. Oh, you know what? I must, first of all, leave other people out of it. I'm serious. And when, you know, and, and, and here, let me just keep it real since we've been really real this morning. You know, a lot of people say when they keep the people out of it, that means they keep them out their business. No, when you do not watch this, deal with people's business no more is when you leave them alone. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no regard. I, can, I have no concern of what's going over there because I got enough going on right here. See, leaving people alone mean you stay out of their business. Oh yeah. We've been using that terminology that if, if you leave people alone, you leave them out of your business. No, 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 no. In the word of God, when you understand it's not about people anymore, you let people alone because you out of their business. <laughs> Write that one down. <laughs> I'm staying out of people's business because I'm going to work on my own business. Watch there. Therefore, from now on, verse 16, we regard no one according to the flesh, even though we have known Christ according to the flesh. Yet now, when now we know him thus no longer. Because see, we're not even looking at Christ in the flesh anymore. Oh, yeah, you have to know that if you have been crucified, read uh, Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. If you have been crucified with Christ, no longer is it you who lives, but the Christ who lives in me. Let me tell you right now, if somebody told you you couldn't do it, you can. Let me tell you something else. If, if you've ever thought that this, this whole equation, this whole, this whole principle way of life is not for you, it is for you. But how do you work it is what makes the biggest difference. We've been trying to follow other people's footsteps for so long. Oh, my God. Yes, we need some mentoring and we need some, some help along the way. But no, no, no. I need to start working on me. I am my biggest preacher. I preach to me every day. I got five sermons a day to myself. You guys get the benefit of one. <laughs> But believe me, I, I so many obstacles that come my way throughout the day. I am preaching to myself to no longer go that way. No longer allow those things to take come against you. No longer fall into other people's business. Oh, yeah. Give me some business. Come on. Watch this. Verse 17. Therefore, they just said that, that in 16, it says that. Even though we have known Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him thus no longer. Because watch this, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, now just put your finger on that for a second. And I have to just open this up because so many people say that's just for Christians and that, that's just, what's up, uh, Minister Seal? Uh, that's just for the church, folks. No, it says it and God meant that word like he meant it. Anyone. Take a pause on that one. Anyone. If anyone that says, I'm out their business. So there's another reminder to stay out of other people's business and stop writing people off. I know you've seen him on the corner. I know every time you drive that street, you see the same dude out there with the same sign. I do too. But I can be honest with you. This isn't taking no, no, no credit for anything. But the people I meet out there on the streets are the way they are when I meet them and I leave them that way. But eventually I start seeing changes in them. Because, bro, I don't tell them nothing. I be praying for them in the spirit, staying out their business, but doing my business, but to pray for them, intercede for them, speak love into them. And watch this. The most thing that you can do when you're driving down the street, seeing them people walking like this, is speak sound mind into them. I pray that prayer so much daily. Oh, in the name of Jesus, give him his mind back. Well, take back what the enemy has stole. No, no longer will he be around here acting crazy because we're going to teach him how to wake up in his mind, get up in his thinking and move in his purpose. 
So he isn't anyone. Oh, come on, y'all. This is going to help you to know that everybody is anyone. You cannot judge anybody. You cannot throw nobody out. You cannot write anybody off. Now, some people you got to leave alone. Yes, you can love from a distance. But keep praying for them. Don't let, don't let it off the hook. You're on assignment. Those people in your life for assignment. You ain't got to get beat up every time. When you see Crazy Larry, you better cross the street. But keep praying. Yes. Because he is anyone. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new again. Now, all things are of God, who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Oh, you didn't know you was going to get a job title today, did you? You know, the only reason God saved you is so you can save someone else. Do you know what reconciliation is? Reconciliation is righting the wrong. Making a difference in what has happened and saying that I'll stand in the gap for right. That I won't allow wrong to be a part of the equation anymore. That's what reconciliation is. And you know what? He first reconciled you to tell you to stay out of other folks' business, <laughs> to get in your own business. And then to walk in the newness of him because you made a crossover from, watch this, the available, Christ is available to everyone still today. They still have the same right to the tree of life as I do because they're anyone just like me, just like you and just like anyone else. They just ain't came over yet. But once you cross over, you are now in Christ Jesus. And he is a new creation. Old things passed away. Make that line of no return. And behold, all things become new again. But wait a minute. Hold on. Watch this. You have to understand. Everything is of God. We get so caught up in that. Oh, I'm new. I got new things. Look what I can do. You can't do nothing. Being new in Christ means that you know everything is of God. And tell yourself, he reconciled me to himself through Christ Jesus. Go and claim it today. See, somebody out there just needed to claim that in a certain way in a certain revelation of God's word this morning that will change, rearrange, and transform your mind. Oh, I say it all the time. Change your mind. You'll change everything. Oh, come on. High five me on that one. Change your mind. You'll change everything. Change your mind. You will change everything. Your bank account, your, your work ethic, your, 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 your accountability. You'll change everything. The Bible says in Proverbs 3, oh, it says in 3, oh my God, oh my God. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. If you think you are, that's just what you'll be. If you think you're crazy, that's just what you'll be, crazy. And we got to change the way we think. So we now move into the reconciliation of God. Watch this. Now all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That is that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses on them and has committed to us the world of reconciliation. We're going to stop on that this week. Continue this on Friday. The world of reconciliation. You know, the most important thing is for us to reconcile the world. And, and, and what do we reconcile the world to? Not to yourself. To reconcile the world to God. And if I do enough, and if you do enough, guess what? Somebody else will make it. Somebody else will, 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 will be over on the other side of, avail of, of access of Jesus Christ. It's just one is today says, I, I, I saw something different uh, uh, in this relationship with God thing. I'm going to go a little bit deeper and, and see if I can get some revelation in this word. Oh, and that is Proverbs 23 and 7. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. But you change your thinking. I'll tell you, everything else around you start changing, even the people around you. I say I share this uh, with people daily. You don't have to tell people to get out your life. You start changing your life, and other people will get away. They'll see that they, that's not for them anymore. They, that's too much accountability, man. That, that brother, that's all that brother do, and they don't hate on me. They just know that when they come over here, they know what they're gonna get. They're gonna get a lot of hard work. 
They're going to get a lot of trusting God. They're going to get a lot of following God. They're going to get a lot of hard work. They're going to get a lot of hard work. And they're going to get a lot of hard work. Because God, mm, yes, is in control. He reconciled me unto him for the reconciliation of myself and then the world. Are you willing to reconcile the world this morning? Jesus is the light and the light changes things. If you shine Jesus on a situation, it'll change things. Even in the physical, you're going over some things. I just want Jesus underneath my breath. People could get, get mad and stuff. And I, I'd be like, oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And, oh, Jesus, move, 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 spirit, move. And all of a sudden, you see a change in things. It ain't magic. God is not a, mir a, a, a magic man. He is a miracle worker. Yes, he is not a, he is not a man that should lie. <laughs> He is God all by himself, and you have to believe it, to receive it, to achieve it. Amen? Wake up in your mind, get up in your thinking, and move in your purpose. I want to take a moment. Mighty woman of God, uh, uh, um, uh, um, Pastor Valoris Brooks, she's uh, out of Wisconsin, and uh, we've connected uh, through Facebook. But uh, she sent me, I got this book, uh, it was when I came to the office this morning, it was in the, it was in the, in the slot, and uh, it, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's an inspiring book of poetry about, about life's struggles and victories. Beautiful Nightmares, Valoris Brooks. We're going to read this and, uh, and, 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 uh, and, get, and give her, she asked for our opinion, and we're going to read this. I'll tell you, some, it's some pretty good, uh, yeah, let me, let me read, let me read one. And this is, I didn't, I, this is, I didn't, I didn't uh, go before this first. I just, I just looked at this right here. It says, won't quit. Here I go again. Can someone please get me out of this slump I'm in? I thought I had gotten it right. Seemed to have done everything wrong overnight. I'm so tired of my head spinning, trying to find my way back to the beginning. I keep throwing up my hands, but I can't give up. There is a master plan. Lord, don't you see? I'm trying not to be what I used to be. In my silence, I cry. You said you will wipe every tear from my eye. Where did I go wrong? How did I get here to write this poem? It's only by faith and not by works. Why in the world does all this hurt? Relationships I can't win. Finance I can't break through. Have mercy, Lord. My health is failing too. Though the tears I got to drive. I got to fight in order to stay alive. Yet I'm breathing. I know there is hope. The human flesh and mind just can't seem to cope. Lord, I love you. You know this is true. So hear my cry. I'm calling out to you. Take me by the hand and guide my way. Help me, Lord, to make it through another day. I am a woman now. Put away childish things. To you be the glory of, and all the praises ring. Like David, I write this song to you and sing. I won't give up. I won't I won't quit. Shalay and amen. Oh my God, what a wonderful, that's just where I came to. Won't quit. <laughs> oh my God, won't quit. I didn't, I didn't, I just opened it. And that's the one God said, read that this morning. My God, I'm just, I'm in, in awe. I'm in a spiritual. Oh, remember I tell you about you know the spirit by the spirit. I have such a bumbling in my spirit that was anointed of God. Oh my God. <laughs> Woo, that was anointed of God. You better get this book. <laughs> you better get this book. You better share this book by the author, Pastor Valores Brooks. She's my friend on Facebook. Uh, she is actually live uh, uh, on the Facebook page right now. Give her a shout out. That was awesome. That was awesome. That was awesome. Oh, my God. I'm in tears. Look at the tears right there. I am in tears. <laughs> We're going to get several copies out here in California. I'm going to talk to the woman of God and we're going to get several copies out here and we're going to put them in uh, in the shop out here to get you guys to come to the grand opening. We, we haven't nailed down the exact date, but it's within the next week. We'll give you, we're going to give you a, about a few days uh, of, of, uh, of notice, but we're going to get some of these books out here to put in our shop out here uh, at the Now Network. Uh, studio, uh, Ease Tease for You, and Provoke to Purpose Ministries are all in the same building now. So we are so grateful and we want to get these books out. That was awesome. Oh my God. <laughs> High five, my sister. You did that. I can't wait to get more. I just, it, I walked in and the book was here. And uh, what a, oh man, what, that was awesome. I won't quit. No, don't give up. 
We want to open up the portion room right now as we get ready to close in and uh, um, in our session today for wake up, get up, and move in your purpose. We'll be here Friday, every Wednesday and Friday morning. Um, but um, we want to just pray and open the portion room up now. If you don't know what the portion room is, the uh, um, the portion room is when we open up uh, uh, a place that we offer to God and that that we we sow seeds of health and what and just sow it into God. Just so Lord here, take it. Just uh, here, let's give it. <laughs> just give freely. We're not asking for money. If you want to sow into this great ground and the in the harvest harvest producing ministry, go, go right ahead. That's on you. But I'm saying this is for uh, free will giving. So Lord, if I you, you finna bless me right now because of my obedience, I give it to I just give it in the portion room right now. If you're finna open up a greater door for me, I, I give it into the portion room that you open it up for somebody else. I freely give right now. This isn't a trick. I'm telling you, I believe this. I give it now. If you're finna heal me, I can make it today for another healing to give into the portion room right now for those that are in need. Oh, thank you, Heavenly Father God. He just touched minds out there. He just touched, he just, he just, he just cleared some minds out there. That's my prayer for everybody that he just take back minds. We are on a mission to take back what the enemy has stole. That's the minds of the people. Oh, yeah, that's where he's beating. That's where he's winning the race. Look at all the people running around here looking crazy, man. Somebody told them they was crazy or told them to go get a crazy check. And let me tell you, when you get a crazy check, you got to keep acting crazy to keep getting that check. You keep, just like the Bible says, a man thinking in his heart, so is he. If you keep thinking you crazy and you got to act it every three months and you, to go get your check up, eventually you will be crazy. But we're on a mission to take back what the enemy has stole, the minds of the people in the mighty name of Jesus. So as our other push, uh, uh, covenant partners give freely, we just thank you, Lord, as you receive everything that was given freely. Anything that might have slipped through the cracks that wasn't pleasing, remove it right now, Lord. Make our offering pure. Make our, 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 our offering uh, uh, without any agenda or without any return, just a free will giving. We offer right now into the portion room and we, we, we thank you for receiving it. Now, Lord, we pray for all of our covenant partners, Lord. We, 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 we pray for all of the ministries that we cover. We pray for all the people that we cover. We pray for all the ministries that we are connected to. We pray in covenant right now, Lord, that your will is done right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, Wayne, Seals, call me, man. Uh, after this show, brother, call me. My number the same. But here, I'll put it out there. 562 413 3710. 562 413 3710. That's the Ease T's number, but call me on there. Man, Wayne Seal, my brother. Hi, man. Good to see you. And we pray for Wayne. We pray for uh, Minister Monique, Minister Charlene. We pray for all of the ministers on the line. We pray for all of the people that, of God, but we also pray for the lost right now in the mighty name of Jesus. That, 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 that you will, and your son will set them free. And make them free indeed. And in Jesus' name, we pray. It is done. It is finished. And it is complete. Not in our name, but in Jesus' name. Oh, my God. Wake up in your mind. Get up in your thinking. And move in your purpose. Amen.